Hey guys, welcome back to the Rex Capital channel. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. We're gonna be talking about this macro range. This is now a potential potential breakout price is consolidating below this resistance here are we seeing something similar to what we saw a few months ago or are we going to get that monthly candle close below this resistance and potentially set up for even a drop to the range low of 20k right now at this moment bitcoin is upside wicking so more so resembling this sort of scenario and in the meantime also forming a new lower high but we're really just seeing a lot of great reaction for the time being there was a rejection into the sub uh, into the higher 22s really and a great reaction as of late as bitcoin is trying to maintain itself above this 23400 monthly resistance this is the level that bitcoin needs to reclaim as a support and it's uh, only fractions of a percent away from doing that but what Bitcoin needs to avoid is this sort of strong rejection candle. And at the moment, we're not really getting that sort of bearish follow through, really. And if you enjoy videos like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel and, and like for more videos like this going forward. That's something I mentioned or at least forget uh, to mention at the beginning of my videos. But this is so far quite decent uh, price strength confirmation around these levels following a rejection from a new lower high of course i try to capture trends before they 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 actually form so this sort of lower high is still very early on it is in its uh, infancy but it's very important that that monthly candle close occurs above 23400 because that would mean a breakout from this current blue range so monthly candle close below and it could set up for a rejection to even as low as the blue range low below really important to get that monthly candle close because at the same time that would mean that this daily candle closes above this resistance so very different reaction that would have been a very different reaction to the rejection from a few months back so a positive sort of reaction that's that's what we want to really see for the bulls but otherwise a rejection into lower levels and what's really interesting about this potential emerging structure here is the lower high here and this is a higher low right over here and if we just think about this um, in our imagination about this uh, wedging structure that could potentially mean that should bitcoin really just reject from here it might be able to produce some downside wicking on the monthly level below this uh, 20k region but even the slant of this higher low could potentially see price in the sub 20k regions if really we were to reject that strongly so this sort of higher low could uh, support this sort of downside deviation below this blue range and um, just to give you an idea as to what that looks like on the monthly these sort of wicks right even these sort of wicks although we got candle bodies right over here so this sort of price action isn't alien to bitcoin around these levels we tend to see downside deviations below the range low so sub 20k regions it's not out of the question if we reject harshly from here so really important to understand that downside wicking happens as often really as upside wicking beyond the range so that's something to bear in mind we're watching for this monthly candle close monthly candle close above here and that's a bullish breakout and that would be probably followed by a retest of this level as a new support even potentially downside wicking inside the range just to fake out a few traders before trend continuation towards the upside but monthly candle close below this resistance 
and Bitcoin would essentially confirm itself to and, and sentence itself to this range most likely, especially upon follow through in February, which would be followed by a red candle like this, for instance. And the other thing that I'd like to talk to you today about is Litecoin's price action and what's happening here on the higher time frame. So if we just look to this green historical accumulation range for Litecoin, we see a black macro higher low supporting a uptrending tendency within this historical accumulation area. And whenever Bitcoin, or at least Litecoin in this case, uh, rebounds from the bottom of this higher low, we tend to see a uh, revisit of the very top of this green box. And the thing about this green box, the top of this green box, is that this is the breakout point for Litecoin for breaking out from the accumulation range. And what has to happen for this accumulation range to be broken out from is that we need to see a monthly candle close beyond it, which we saw here, but we saw a failed retest attempt here. So Litecoin had to drop a bit deeper, but then once again manage a monthly candle close above this region to just break out a little bit later. But it's crucial to see a breakout followed by a retest, or at the very least, a just a monthly uh, close beyond that region, like we saw over here. That retest doesn't need to happen. Here we saw an upside wick beyond the accumulation range high resistance and rejected to the higher low. Here we rejected once again, but right here you can see monthly candle close followed by a retest, not picture perfect of the very top of this accumulation range, but a retest nonetheless. So this is a successful confirmed breakout and this is a failed retest and a failed breakout. And what we're seeing here is a monthly candle close, which is great. We're seeing a retest, which is great as well. And now we're seeing follow through. And we saw a monthly bull flag form in the process here. And now Litecoin is breaking out from this bull flag, but that's a positive uh, in of itself. But we're seeing very key uh, confirmation signals from Litecoin from breaking out from this accumulation range. So accumulation is over for Litecoin. And what we need to uh, talk about is, of course, this is the next resistance for Litecoin. But what we need to talk about is the relationship of the Litecoin halving, these purple vertical lines, to Litecoin's historical price action, because the next Litecoin halving is in August. And what we've seen before is a sizable rally towards the orange region right over here. Candle closes inside this orange box with upside wicking to as high as the red box, but generally sustainable price action at this orange box with unsustainable extreme FOMO upside wicking into the red box. So if we were just to see a similar rally from the macro uh, uptrend line, then we would probably see the orange region and potential upside wicking into this red region. But we need to understand that uh, pre-halving rallies may be diminishing in returns. And that's something to check out in my Litecoin thread on Twitter. Uh, I spoke about the Litecoin halving's effect on price action. And uh, that thread is just full of great information and in-depth analysis. But in any case, I think this orange region is going to be the next major resistance with some volatility beyond it heading into the halving. So Litecoin is still buying itself time by just consolidating. We've seen uh, a few weeks, several weeks of consolidation before this monthly uh, bull flag breakout. And this uptrend is just going to continue into the halving and we might see a top out prior to the halving like we saw right over here. So August 19 was the halving. So we topped out around two months before the halving. So I'd expect 
a three month, four month time period before the Litecoin halving for Litecoin to top out. So still a bit of time for Litecoin to enjoy this uptrend. Really important to notice that on the lower time frames, Litecoin is going to try and retest this 85 region as a support because that's a resistance. And you can see that this 85 region was a resistance here. Over here, it acted as support here and resistance here fantastic support retest right over here. So now Litecoin is positioned to monthly candle close above this level and retesting 85 in February would be more than healthy, but it looks like really everything is, is going well for Litecoin as it experiences further decorrelation from the overall market and is just uptrending gradually over time and is going to be one of the dark horses in this year when it comes to altcoins, just because and solely because of its upcoming like going halving in August 2023. In any case, guys, that's about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Rekt Capital. Feel free to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Like this video if you enjoyed this one. In any case, that's about it for this one. Thanks so much, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.